seven famous musicians who ended up in mysterious circumstances. They had tumultuous lives marked by excess. They were adored by hundreds of thousands of fans around the world and seemed to have the world at their feet, but they ended tragically before their time. Here are the cases of famous musicians who died under still unexplained circumstances that have given rise to an endless string of controversies and conspiracy theories. 1. Brian Jones, founding member of the Rolling Stones, 1969. Brian Jones was the eccentric genius behind some of the boldest songs on the British Rolling Stones' early albums. Unfortunately, Brian Jones met a tragic end on the night of July 2nd to 3rd, 1969 under suspicious circumstances. He was discovered by his girlfriend, Anna Wolin, drowned in the pool of the house. Authorities determined that Jones drowned accidentally. The medical examiner suggested that Jones had consumed drugs and alcohol. Shortly after the musician's death, there were rumors that Brian Jones was the victim of a murder. In 1993, investigative journalist Scott Jones floated the theory that the artist was killed by Frank Thorogood, a construction worker who had been doing work on Brian Jones' house that very day. The British journalist also reported that several people had visited the musician's property on the night of July 2nd to 3rd. Furthermore, on the morning of July 3rd, a neighbor reportedly noticed a large fire burning in Brian Jones' yard, speculating that important documents had been burned there. In 2009, the police re-examined the case, but concluded that the new information was not sufficient to justify changing the original conclusion. 2. Jim Morrison, vocalist of The Doors, 1971 like Brian Jones, Jim Morrison is a member of the so-called 27 Club celebrities who died at the age of 27. On July 3, 1971, the Doors frontman was found dead in the bathroom of the Paris apartment where he lived with his girlfriend, Pamela Corson. The official cause of Morrison's death was a heart attack caused by an overdose of heroin, which he had consumed with Corson that night. But Jim Morrison's death remains a matter of speculation. The rock star's friend, Sam Burnett, said that Morrison did not die at home, but in the bathroom of a Parisian club. According to him, Morrison would have taken a large dose of heroin, which killed him. To cover up the death, those who had sold him drugs decided to take the artist home, leaving him in the bathroom of the home, where he was later discovered. On the other hand, singer Marianne Faithful later claimed that the one responsible for Morrison's death was her former lover, drug dealer Jean de Brightwill. Faithful said she and Brightwell visited the musician at his home to deliver heroin. But the heroin was too pure and killed him. Neither Burnett's nor Faithful's claims have been confirmed. 3. Gary Driscoll, drummer of the rock band Rainbow, 1987. On June 8, 1987, Gary Driscoll was murdered in his home in Ithaca, New York for unknown reasons. He was 41 years old. The case of Driscoll's murder remains unsolved, and very little information has emerged in the public domain about what happened. According to one theory, the musician was killed in an altercation due to drug use. According to another theory, Driscoll was skinned alive in an occult ritual. 4. Chet Baker, 1988 Jazz trumpeter and vocalist Chet Baker died on May 13, 1988, after falling from a hotel balcony in Amsterdam. As a notorious drug user who always had financial problems, it's pretty easy to assume that Baker's death was drug-related. Incidentally, the police who investigated the case discovered heroin and cocaine in his hotel room. Although Baker's death was ruled accidental, there are some voices that say the musician was killed by drug dealers. This hypothesis is also fueled by the fact that in the late 60s, Chet Baker was beaten so badly due to drug problems that he lost most of his teeth. 5. Richie Edwards, Manic Street Preacher's Guitarist, 1995 Richie Edwards was known to have mental problems. On February 1st, 1995, just before the band left for a U.S. promotional tour, Edwards disappeared. On February 14th, his car was found abandoned near the Severn Bridge in Gloucestershire, England, a popular spot for suicide bombers. The battery was completely dead, a sign that someone had been using it heavily, probably living in the car. However, Edwards was nowhere to be found. 
Some believe that the artist committed suicide, while others believe that he is still alive. In the two weeks before his disappearance, Edwards withdrew 200 pounds from his account daily, a sign that he needed the money for something. Moreover, his friend stated that although he had problems, the artist would not have committed suicide. As for suicide, such a thing does not cross my mind. Because I'm stronger than that. I'm a weak person, but I can take pain, Edwards allegedly said. No one knows what the fate of the artist was. His family declared him dead in 2008. 6. Tupac Shakur, 1996 the shooting death of rapper Tupac Shakur has sparked numerous conspiracy theories. It was rumored that he was the victim of a gang dispute, and others said that his death was ordered by music industry moguls. In his 2011 book, Murder Rap, former Los Angeles police detective Greg Kading claims he has evidence that rapper Sean Puffy Combs and producer Suge Knight are responsible for the death of Tupac Shakur. According to Kading, the Los Angeles authorities allegedly covered up the case. In a 2011 email to LA Weekly reporters, Combs denied the allegations. This story is pure fiction and completely ridiculous. Although one of Tupac Shakur's songs allegedly contained the hidden message Shook Shot Me, no clear evidence has been found linking Knight to the rapper's death. Knight himself denied killing Tupac Shakur and told TMZ, probably jokingly, that the rapper is still alive. Bizarrely, FBI files released in 2011 revealed that Tupac Shakur had received death threats from the Jewish Defense League. In any case, the death of the famous rapper remains unsolved. 7. Biggie Smalls, 1997 Another American rapper whose death is shrouded in mystery is Biggie Smalls, Christopher Wallace, also known as the Notorious Big. Biggie Smalls was shot in his car on March 9, 1997, after leaving a party. Some have theorized that government agents killed Tupac and Biggie to end East Coast versus West Coast gang fighting. FBI files on the rapper's death refer to the very rare type of bullets used in the killing, bullets that were also found in the home of police officer David Mack. At the time of the murder, Mack also had a second job. He was Suge Knight's bodyguard. FBI agents also discovered that Mack owned a black Chevrolet Impala, the same model as the shooters. In 2005, Small's family sued Mack, but the court dismissed the case. Former detective Russell Poole is a staunch proponent of the theory that Knight ordered assassins, possibly Mack, to carry out the murder. So far, Mack has not been charged in Small's murder and continues to maintain his innocence. Knight also denied ordering Small's death.